This was before the Great Flood. After the Flood it was not long before Hermes Tris Majestus, otherwise known as THOTH was channeled into what mistakenly is called the beginning of civilization Egypt. But Egypt was always the influence not the real dynasty. all around the corner. Any other famous things about this place? Uh, yeah. I know some people consider it trivial, but uh, this is Tubal Cain here uh, in this painting. This is Tubal Cain here. He's a smith. And he's, uh, I don't know who he's talking to over here, but he's He's, you know, he's burning fire and stuff like that. And apparently, uh, in Rome, depictions of uh, a god named Vulcan or Vulca or something like that. Vulcan, anyway. Um, point being, here we go. So this is not an accurate map, but Turkey's around up here somewhere, right? I could be wrong. Anyway. We know that the boot is Rome, and we know that this is Greece here, this is Egypt, and this is uh, Jerusalem up in this area here. Okay, so all I'm saying is that the most recorded uh, artifacts that we have is is like Egyptian, right? And they want to say that there's like the first dynasty of Egypt was a really long time ago. Well, we don't have any evidence of that. It could be a myth. It could be made up. A lot of stuff could be made up. In fact, I think everything is made up with the exception of a really amazing story that happens to be the history of the world as we know it. So there's a great flood, right? And wherever Turkey is is where the uh the ark rested and then that guy's family you know so you know just thinking about it just so this guy one guy had three kids and they were all in turkey got out in turkey and they eventually you know had their own kids and a bunch of other kids and a bunch of other kids and a bunch of other kids but not very far down from from that, there was a guy named Nimrod. Now, Tubal Cain was kind of like, I guess, Noah's uncles. And, you know, if there was a great flood, maybe this was kind of like bad time here. I don't think the dog likes him very much, though. So, if there was a flood which there's evidence of, and this family grew out from there. And down here, there was a guy named Nimrod who, you know, even, uh, well, they speak of Nebuchadnezzar being a king of Babylon, right? Well, that's far near the end of the city of Babylon, which fell roughly 400 years, uh, twenty, let's say 2,400 years ago, okay, in Iraq, right? That's where Babylon, where Babel was all the time. And here is Egypt on the northern side. So we're talking down south here a little bit more in Iraq, right? Because this is Saudi Arabia and such. Now, this is Mesopotamia, uh, which, you know, they're, they're, we're talking about world, world struggles here. Basically, we're talking about the game of risk. So basically, a flood happens here, Four guys come out, they breed, they they grow up their, their people and whatnot. And then down here, uh, Nimrod, four generations later, basically gets uh, to be really, uh, he's a well-known hunter. And Babylon, then when Babylon eventually falls at that time, but it stays, it stays there, but it loses its dominancy. It goes over to Persia, Mesopotamia. And then from Persia, Mesopotamia, 
it goes over to Greece. And then from Greece, it go what Greece, which also was Egypt at the time. So we're talking Cleopatra and all of the, the uh, kings of, of after Alexander and such were all in here with Cleopatra's and such and Greece and and that was the world dominating uh, force at the time and then Rome took over and Rome dedicates its foundation to a couple to a couple twins a uh, couple boys that were uh, you know from uh, a lineage of generations okay that came down from some guys who uh, made babies or ladies who made babies with gods okay so Nimrod at the time down here is is could be like you know what is known about this family of Noah and his family they would be living just like the people before the flood which lived for a very long time so Noah lived probably for about 400 years afterwards and uh, his children and his children and Nimrod also maybe they were very strong people maybe they were like gods hence uh, leading to all of the uh, religions that would spring from these things because everybody would want to understand why we're no we're not strong like these like these people were before or longevitous at least you know like with long life living a long time 